Okay guys, how many times have you had it where you've got a girl's number, you thought it was on, and then somewhere in between getting the number and going for the first date, she just goes quiet. She stops responding to your texts or she doesn't agree to go out for a date. So what I'm going to show you guys today is how to take it all the way through from a number close to going on the day to using text messages. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a girl's number. Once I've got the number and I put it in on my phone, I'll automatically add notes. You can add notes actually in the playbook, black book function of my text game app, so you might want to check that out. In the meantime, you can just write it in the notes section on your phone, make details about what you spoke to the girl about, the main conversational pointers, because what's going to happen is you're going to use that in formulating your first text message to her. Your first text message to her, I'd advise first of all using a nickname, so if you met her outside a spe specific shop, say, Hey Sarah from Miss Selfridges, Hey Sarah from Topshop, Hey Sarah from Tiger Bar. Then what our next thing I want you to do is ask her a question relating to something that happened in the set. Was she go about to go to a doctor's appointment? Was she rushing back to work? Had she drunk lots of white wine? Ask questions like, Hey Sarah from Tiger Bar, how's your head feeling after all that white wine we were drinking last night? Or Hey Lucy from Topshop, did you ever manage to get back to work on time or did you get too distracted shopping? This is building in and reminding her of what happened in the initial interaction. It's bringing back all that warmth that she felt to you when she gave you her number. Then, to make the text have even more conversational hooks, I want you to write something about what you did that day. Something that sounds exciting and interesting, like I've just had the craziest day. I've just had the busiest day. You'll never guess what happened to me after I met you. Then sign it off with your name and a kiss. What we're going to do next is think about how she responds. If you get no response, then you'd have to think about doing something called ping messaging, which is what I'm going to be going through in future videos. If you get a cold response, you also would need to try and establish more comfort with her. Now, a cold response is a response, maybe it took her ages to get back to you. Maybe her reply was really short, like, okay, fine, wasn't any good. Maybe she just seemed really aloof and is avoiding your questions and doesn't seem very friendly and like she's very interested in chatting to you further. If these are the cases... We're going to ignore this for today. In future videos, I will talk to you about how to deal with this. For now, though, when we're talking about how to build through from the number close to the date, we're going to assume that in response to that first message, she's responded with a warm response. Now, a warm response is one where she responds to you very quickly and she responds in detail. She writes something of a decent length back. Maybe she asks you questions about yourself. Another great sign is if she tries to kind of DHV herself, if she tries to boast to you, maybe about something cool that she did or some amazing experience that she's having or about to have, how she's a good dancer, how she's just had her hair done, how she bought a new pair of shoes. All of these are great examples of her trying to hook your interest. So if she responds back quickly, I want you to respond quickly too. Don't feel that you need to wait ages before you get back in touch. Instead, keep the momentum. On the topic of momentum, it's also important that that first text message, that initial message, if you met her during the daytime, text her an hour or two after. If you met her on a night out, text her the next day. Because what you want to be trying to aim for is to get her to come on a date with you within a few days of you initially meeting her. Why is this important? It's because people kind of forget that they like you. I know this sounds crazy, but people have busy lives and meeting up with a stranger is a big commitment. Therefore, if you leave it for like a couple of weeks after you initially met, unless it went really, really well, as time goes on, her desire to meet you is going to fade. It's like when you commit to go to your friend's birthday party and then a month later when the date comes round, you just can't be bothered to go thing is when you made that initial commitment you really felt like you would go 
However, when you're presented with the logistical reality of it, you're removed from the situation, your chances of going are much slimmer. So with text messaging, we're always thinking about keeping momentum. If she's replying and she's responding warmly, you respond warmly too. Now, I don't mean you send her a million messages in one day. I just mean that when she responds to something, until you've got those date logistics tied down, you keep replying to her. Okay, that said, I would like you to go on to the date quickly. You don't have time to spend building idle chit chat. You want to keep the momentum of this going. If you get a warm response back, I want you to make a date suggestion. Now, the ideal date suggestion messages are going to be very specific and very clear about what the date will entail. At this stage, when you've just met a girl, you do not want to surprise her. This is the kind of stuff you do to girls you've been dating for several months. At the start, she's going to want to know what kind of date she's signing up for. So what you could do is suggest a date that's easy for her to commit to, and by that I mean you don't want to suggest going to Paris or driving anywhere or going for a big meal. That's too much for a first date. Instead, suggest something that's small, easy for her to fit into her schedule and easy for you to fit into your schedule, like getting a coffee after work or a quick drink. Now, how I want you to suggest this on your going for the date message is to say something like, hey, good to hear that, you always respond, by the way, to the message she's already sent. We should, or you could also say, let's go and grab a drink after work sometime. Now, why you phrased it that way particularly, you use strong language like we should or let's go. This is important because you want to make it sound like the date is already happening. You're really confident that she's going to want to come along with you. You're leading, you're being authoritative. This is so much more attractive than asking her, would you like to come out for a drink sometime? That seems kind of weak. Also, if you get a, give a girl an option by asking that kind of question, a lot of the time she'll say no. That's frustrating. So instead, I want you to phrase it strongly. Say, let's go grab mojitos someday after work. Okay, why do we say someday or one day? This is important because you're not tying it to a logistics yet. You're feeling out for how she feels about going on a date with you. Then if she doesn't respond, it leaves the doorway open for you to come back and re-engage her at a later date with some ping messages. It's important that you do this because initially you want to sell her on what the idea of the date is rather than a logistical date and time. Also, if you say, let's go for mojitos Wednesday at 7pm, if she doesn't respond, you've kind of knocked your value there because she hasn't responded to you asking a commitment from her. Make it someday or one day and it allows you to feel out how she is on the subject. Okay, after that, if she responds positively, like, yeah, that sounds cool, that sounds amazing. What you can do is then you set the logistics. And I, again, I do not want you to ask her about what days are best for her. You're a busy guy. You've got loads of girls after you. So make her work to your schedule. Say, okay, let's go for Wednesday evening at 7, the light bar. Suggest the location, the time, and the day. If that day doesn't work for her, allow her to renegotiate once. Um, if the day is convenient to you, but essentially you've got to work for her schedule. Do not stand for flakes or for girls that alter their arrangements too much. You've got to come from a place of higher value than that. Now, what would be ideal is if you set the date very quickly after you first met her. We're thinking within a few days. Sometimes, often if I meet a girl during daytime, what I love to do is to get her to come out with a nightclub to me later that night or maybe the next night. Equally, you can get her to go for a drink or a coffee with you. This is all about momentum. If you set the date a week or two weeks into the future, maybe you're going away on holiday or for some reason neither of you can commit to anything sooner than that, it's really important that you keep the momentum of the text messages going. If you set the date two weeks before it actually happens, the chances of her then turning up two weeks down the line are quite slim. Instead, what I want you to think about doing is I want you to think about keeping the momentum. So in between that period of time, every like three days, every half a week, drop her a couple of text messages, stay in touch, put in a phone call. All of these things are going to help her feel so much more invested in you and in the interaction. Okay, and then what you do, hopefully if you follow this procedure, 
you text her quickly, you make the first text specific to your conversation. If you get a warm response, you then go right, build towards the date by going first for establishing what the date is. Then if you get a good response to that, you set the logistics. If for some reason the date can't happen very soon, you keep the momentum in between. And this is a great way to lead through from getting that number to getting the girl you want on a date when you want her, where you want her. Okay guys, my name's Hayley Quinn. This is one of my first videos that I've given on text game advice. In future, you might want to check out my text game apps, which is Hayley Quinn's Sexy Text, Hayley Quinn's Black Book, and Hayley Quinn's Sexy Texts Premium Copy. These applications available on the iPhone will help you to work through this system and will help to supply you with all the text messages that I've been talking to you about and showing you in this video today. Good luck.